All right, we're at Powerhouse doing some posing, getting some athletes ready for, what show are we doing, Sheila? The Excalibur. Excalibur coming up in three more weeks. That's right. She's doing bikini, and uh, we're going to knock them dead, right? That's right. Yeah. What we got over here? What's up? What show are we doing? Excalibur. Excalibur, of course, and you're yeah. doing figure, figure right? Figure. Okay. Yeah, you're going to kill it. This is yep. your first show. Yep. I'm really excited for you. And, uh, yeah, we're going to do really well. Yes. Over here. Got Coach Christian working with Zoe. What's up, guys? Yeah. And the front double bicep. Big, 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 the foot. Remember, we want to show that top of the quad, top of the quad more. And Zoe's doing her debut as well, Four. women's physique. Yeah. So wait a second. Hold on. Where are we going right now? We're going to get. Who am I talking to? Him or you? I'll talk to you next. Yes. I'm talking to you. Where are we going? So we're just going to say, go. say your name first. Hi, my name is Zen, and today we're going to a party called. He goes and hugs, and we're just going to play with my brother. And today we have a party and some cake. And today we're going to have fun there. And we're going to stay here forever. And we're going to back home. Oh, okay. That's a pretty good explanation. So, wait, what are you doing there? Why are you standing I, like that for? Because what are we doing now? Now, my name's Kai. <laughs> oh, wow. You're acting General for the camera Kai, now, or are you talking to me? I'm talking, to, I'm talking to the camera. Not oh, of you. course, of course. So today we're going to giggles and hugs. Zen said the introduction. I don't. We're not staying here all day long. So if you watch it, just watch it, and we're not going to stay all day long. <laughs> and we have cake. Do we have cake, mom? Yeah, There's going to be cake, mm -hmm. and no fine. You can watch my video at giggles and hugs. Do you want to explain your new pose? But what's that pose no. you're just trying to show me? Um, this is the pose I did. This is my old pose. Your old, pose. what do you mean your old pose? From what? From pictures? Old, or? old days. Old, old days. days. <laughs> the old so this 90s. is your old pose from the old days. From, the from when? From the 90s and oh stuff. My God. Okay, so this is how you posed back then? Old school. Yeah, it's just. And now what, what's the difference now? This is the difference. I don't get it. What'd you do different? Watch the Oh, the thumbs? Carefully. What? Show me. So before it was like Do what? not see my thumbs. Okay, well, how were you doing it before? Um, I'm doing it like this. I'm doing it like this. I'm doing it like this. I'm, I'm oh, but, everything else, but everything else is the same? Oh, uh, yeah. So uh, yes. I guess... I don't know what you're saying. This, this yeah, okay, Kai, smarty pants. All right, so what are you telling me? That's your cool new pose? Yes. Okay. All right. Thanks, cool guy. Thanks for watching. Thanks <laughs> for watching. Bye-bye. Subscribe to my channel. Hit the thumbs and the like button. And... <laughs> Oh, I said the wrong thing. Give me 100,000 likes on my tweet and hit that like button in the face like a boss. And subscribe to my channels. Bye. Wait, I didn't, you have a YouTube channel? Oh my yeah. God. Hey, what's up, everyone? So today I wanted to share a little something with you guys. And uh, many of you know that I've got a pretty extensive uh, sneaker collection. For those of you that don't, I've been collecting shoes since 1985. It's kind of a sick habit that I have. Uh, sometimes I try to stop doing it, and other times I just get on these little kicks where I'll buy two, three pairs a month. But uh, this particular shoe is a retro shoe. It came out... Originally back in 1985, just came back out again, 2016, and it's the Jordan 1 Black Toe. I have to call it Black Toe because of the colors right here. Uh, I don't really collect a lot of the Jordan 1s. I, many of you know I've got hundreds of pairs of shoes. I see got a lot of guys like Jay Cutler, uh, Phil Heath, Dexter Jackson. They've got a lot of shoes, but I've got quite a bit of shoes. I don't really show all of them, but I'm going to start sharing some of them with you. And this particular shoe I like a lot because it's, again, it came out in 1985. It's got a pretty cool story to it because Michael Jordan actually wore this model, not this particular colorway, but the story goes that they call this the Jordan 1 Band, the Band Edition. And the reason why it was called Band is because back in 84, 85, the uh, NBA players were all supposed to be wearing black and white shoes or shoes that matched their uniform. And uh, Nike developed this shoe really similar to this. It's actually not this particular shoe if you really know a lot about sneakers. It's actually the Airship. Um, but it was a black and red pair just like this. And for every game that Jordan was wearing this particular shoe in, 
Uh, he was getting fined five thousand dollars at Nike. Supposedly was fronting the bill for it. it was a smart marketing uh, move on them because if you look at the company now, don't really need to explain, but uh, it's a billion dollar corporation. But um, again, this particular shoe uh, came out way back when 19, 1985 when I first started collecting shoes, and it just came out again. Retails for about 160, 180 dollars, I think it was. You can get them on eBay for 250, 300 dollars right now, which is yes, expensive. Uh, but if you are a sneakerhead like I am, this is definitely one shoe you've got to add to your collection because it's an OG, if you guys know what that means. Um, I'll be sharing some more of my shoes with you as we uh, progress with my vlogs, but I thought I'd like to share this particular one with you because it's got a lot of history. It's the Jordan 1 Black Toe. I get asked all the time, what's the best way to develop my tracks? Well, uh, obviously heavy weight barbell. Dumbbell shrugs, but I'm switching another variation to actually hit higher up on the track by using a single dumbbell. So right now, your normal range of motion would be like this, but since I'm using one dumbbell, I can actually cheat it and go a little bit higher. Okay, so you actually go ahead and lean, and you're going to get higher on the peak of the track, up in the neck area. High as you can, come up into the track, switch sides. It's okay to lean, and you can see how much higher I get by leaning this peak right here. All right, there you have it. Single dumbbell shrug. <laughs> Yay, Tati! This is the commercial that set it off for me. This is why I became a Pittsburgh Steelers fan. When I saw this when I was a kid, this is what did it for me right here. Mean Joe Green, the Coca-Cola commercial. Right here. That was the shit to me. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. As we sit in our backyard and watch the sun go down. And I'm very thankful for everything that we have. We're very blessed. View of the city. It's November. Still sitting out here in shorts and short sleeves out here in California. Someone lives the life.